Hello friends, welcome to the third part of this tutorial. Uh, in last two parts, first and second, uh, I have made uh, walls and windows uh, with the AutoCAD plan. So if you have missed those tutorials, uh, please go and check uh, my two parts. Uh, uh, you can click on the screens. So let's get start uh, with the third part. So now the wall is around uh, 15 feet actually. Yeah, it's 15 feet and uh, the window is also 15 feet but uh, the window uh, should be around 12 feet from the ground. So I'll take one box for a reference and I'll make the height of 12 feet so this will be our res reference point I'll just place this right away so the window should end here so now I'll select my window and I change my gizmo from hierarchy effect pivot point just drag down just go to scaling can so around this So now I'll just delete my box and here will be a support and then we'll again change the above floor plans. I'll just make this copy I'll go again to pivot point uh, what happens when pivot point is over here if we scale it we will scale from both the sides so we have to adjust on the both the sides so to tackle this problem we have to go to pivot point and just light to this point scale go to modify to splines slightly I'll move to this point it's fine I'll switch to my front view. Now we'll make a uh, glass. Slightly. Yes. Take a plane. Two point snap on. From this point to this point. Again I'll off the snap and make a copy of it. I'll make come down with the segments generally I uh, don't use a lot of segments if we can work with two segments so there is no need of four segments I'll add edit poly go to vertex can come down like this and go to top view to adjust those planes it's, it's fine now 
I'll just go to left view. Take you the slap. Take a box. Say 2.5 snap on. Just I'll off the snap. If you see the distance uh, from year to year is 15, and we have done with 12 feet. So this we have to increase by 3 feet, and width will be 0.5, and height will be just for making sure uh, the distance between this point to this point is 20 feet from this point to this point, last point. So to check this, I'll go to my AutoCAD. I'll press T I distance. You can check this distance from here. It's 20 feet. I'll go back to 3D Max. Left view and I'll type height 20 feet. to top can I just It's perfect. Now we have to bring uh, the first floor of this villa. I'll go back to AutoCAD. Now we want entire, just I don't want, I can delete this. I'll make a copy of it. C O or or else uh, there is one more option we can do it over here itself. I'll just delete this one. And I don't want this. So now I'll go to layer palette. I'll make one more layer 3D underscore FLR flooring and FRST first floor. And this will be current. I'll take a boundary BO. I don't want island detection. So just uncheck this. Go to layer palette, say inward selection. I'll say control S, save, I'll come to 3D max. I'll say import, say villa working and will be legacy format. Say OK. OK. And the plan is here. So I'll go to filters. I'll say ships. Just go and lift it up. At this level, go to extrude, say point five feet. Go to perspective, just check.
just increase little bit so now this is fine and we have to take the exterior of uh, first flow so I'll just show you this is the first floor and will require this uh, part so this is an uh, we will take and we we'll come in 3d max so in next part I uh, will do uh, the exterior walls of the first floor and the adjustment of the first floor so thanks for much watching and uh, meet you in next part thank you